Remain calm! He says, move, look. I don't know how much camera I can be in a square room with a telephone. Unless you've got claustrophobic. Unless you've got cla claustrophobia? Claustro Unless you're claustrophobic. And you panic. Or fear of telephones. Or fear of carpets or tables or doors or lights. Hello! Well, you're probably pretty confused, and that's fine. It's to be expected. But, look, I have to explain all this constantly, and I don't really care to do it again. I'd say I do it hundreds of times a day, but time doesn't really exist here, so... Look, all you need to do is walk outside into the hallway and into your first trial. Your body will be reenacting events exactly as they'd occurred before. Simply put, your free will won't exactly be that free anymore. I'll be watching you so I can tally up your score, but fair warning, sure. I typically deal with the, um, let's just say the people I judge typically score on the lower end, so <laughs> have fun with that on your mind. So you understand what you're supposed to do? Nope. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know you can't respond. I've set all this up so you can't talk. I know, I know, it seems a bit harsh, but if you had to listen to people panicking for eternity, you'd get pretty sick of it too. Oh, where am I? What's going on? <laughs> I want to see my family. It gets annoying. You know, it's almost like no one even reads the sign I put up. All right, enough talk. Head out into the hall and start your first trial. Let's get this over with. Oh, I don't know. How do you know if I'm going to do that? If, I'm, if I can't talk and tell you that, I'm walking to the door. Oh, the wall textures are nice. The carpet is a bit meh. The light is nice, though. There's a camera. Oh, that's how he sees without me talking and saying, No, oh, I'm moving to the door. Hello? Ring, 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 ring. How do I... I just click, okay. I really hope the frames don't drop on this. One, two, three, four, five, six. You must complete your trials. Okay, so I've got to go through the first door. We must remain calm. Just me, the frames a bit. Uh, no. Nope, there's none. I'm just gonna have to make do. Okay, this game's not too bad. How are you holding up, Evelyn? You're not looking too hot. No, I I'm fine. Excuse me, I'm very hot. Shit. Looking at this makes me feel sick. Yeah, it's hard the first few times. You're not a real investigator until you don't puke on the body. <laughs> Matt. Ugh. Mm. Ugh. Puking on the body. Let's talk about anything else. Did you check the report? No, not yet. I'll check it out. Try not to lose your lunch while I'm at it. Okay. <laughs> this must be the report. Yeah. I need to check out that report to see what I'm working with. I think I left it on the hood of the cruiser. Yep, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. Says here that someone driving nearby heard a gunshot at the location. When they came to check it out, they saw the body. It was fine. All the shot was heard. Her. No assailant. Body mail. Prison dead. Can't see. Not much more to go off of. Yep, it's your bare basics. What does it say? He's dead. There's a Just knife. Some people heard a gunshot and saw the body. I'm not working with much. You hang tight. I'm gonna have a look around. Well, Evelyn has a long ways to go, but I think she's going to do well on the force. One of the most promising rookies I've met. Just takes time. A few more ride-alongs will do her good. Hear that? Good ride will do you good. This casing belongs to a 9mm bullet. I don't see a weapon around here, though. Do you want to be specific, dude? You don't see a it's gun anywhere. On it. There's obviously a weapon right in front of our faces. Had to have been used in whatever altercation happened here. Maybe the axe was used. 
You seem to be a good detective. Not. Blood! Why are you not pointing out this blood? That blood? This blood? Looks like someone had a bad day. No shit, Sherlock. Well, it seems to be coming from his head, so there likely wasn't much of a struggle. Oh, and would you look at that? Someone left a trail of blood. I should take a look at this body, too, while I'm here. Mayo, probably in his early 30s. Mm. Given the bullet hole in his head, I'd have to say he died from a gunshot wound. Looks like the bullet went Very straight Very observant. Through. Well, if the bullet went straight through, then that would explain the blood. This is truck. This truck sure has seen better days. I'd be surprised if he could even get it running. I'd be surprised too, because it looks like some made of wood. This truck sure has seen better days. I'd be surprised if he could even get it running. Uh. So do I follow the blood trail? Does it go this way? Bathroom. Go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going in there if I don't have to. Right. Leading this way. Losing a few frames on this. Uh, if you ever lost, press F to remember. I need to look for more evidence to take pictures of. Shouldn't be too much left. Maybe I should see what I can find along the trail. The blood should be a good indicator where to look. I mean, I'm doing that already. That wasn't... Didn't need that. Oh, there's the gun. Looks like this handgun was discarded, and rather hastily at that. It's safe to assume this was used at the scene. I mean, obviously, there's a gun shell. There's a gun. The frames. The paper was money. The big water money. Well, we may just have found a motive. Four hundred dollars cash. That's a lot of blood. I toss it away. You probably felt like he was going to use it to add the wound. I guess. Come after it later. The blood trail heads into that nah. cave. No one will took away 400 quid. I need to be careful. Although I didn't need it anymore. Alright, careful. Poor bastard. He's got a stab wound in his abdomen. It's deep, too. He most likely died from blood loss. Probably not too long after crawling in here. It doesn't actually look like it crawled, considering there's no blood trail. But it's like a long streak. I reckon he stumbled in against the wall and then died. But who am I? I'm just a lonely YouTuber that has nothing better to do than read all detective stuff. Anyway, let's head back. Oh, is there something up there? Oh, the frames! I don't know if you guys can see this. I might be running fairly smooth for you. Oh, there's nothing there except a tree. Oh, there is. There's a can of pills. Pills. Not the cheap stuff, either. Strong. Some people would pay good money for this. All under right, dollars, in fact. Should about do it. I should reconvene with Evelyn before we head back to the precinct. Damn it, not now. <laughs> okay. It sounds like he's taking the drugs. A random chair. Shit. Okay. I'm okay. 
Yep, definitely. I need to focus back on the investigation. Completely okay. <sighs> That's if you've not forgotten everything. Can I speak? Hey, Ev. Hey, Matthew. Did you find everything you need? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So, what do you think happened? If you don't mind me asking. Well, I'm gonna need to review a lot of it, but here's my theory. Our friend here on the ground came here to get his hands on some pills. Maybe during the deal, he had the bright idea that maybe he could leave with his pills and his money. So he took a gamble and stabbed his dealer. In turn, the dealer acted in self-defense and shot the guy, killing him. Scared, the dealer grabbed everything and ran, or at least got away as fast as he could with a stab wound. He tried to discard the evidence as he went, but he didn't really have time to hide it. He got to the cave before realizing he couldn't get any further, so... That's where he stopped to bleed out and die. Jesus. Again, that's just my theory. There'll be a whole lot more of you, and it's just a whole process. Yeah. Hey, Matt, can I ask you a question? What's up, Ev? Why? Why do you think this happens? What do you mean? A drug deal gone wrong? No. No, just... These people... Why did they resort to this? Just seems like some people don't see right and wrong. Maybe I'm just being naive, but I can't put myself in that headspace. No question. Killing morality. another person by Indeed. choice. Hmm. I don't know if anything brings them to it. I think they may just be that way. Hardwired to do wrong. I don't know. I don't have much remorse for them. They've done bad. In my eyes, if you do something wrong, you deserve what's coming to you. You can't start sympathizing for them. That's when you start getting bad at your job. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, let's get back in the cruiser. Head back to the precinct. I need to sort through all of this. Deep? Yeah. Right behind you. Very deep. Do I actually get into the cruiser or do I go back to my... Oh, I do. Okay. Fair enough. Gonna put me back in the hallway. I don't think that's a particularly good example because humans are hardwired to survive. So obviously if you're going to get attacked, you're going to try killing it. Or you're going to run. That's the whole point of, fight or flight. I don't think that's a case of morality. I think that's a case of nature. Nurture versus nature. Come on. I'm going to sacrifice this PC to nature in a minute. Oh, it's not telling me to stay calm. You know, a police officer is definitely not what I expected from you. A man of the law. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, being a member of the police force doesn't exactly say much about your character, but it is a job aimed at keeping peace. Oh, boy, I cannot wait to see how you screwed all of this up. <laughs> well, hey, don't stop on my accord. Head on out into your second trial. Okay, all right. Fair enough. Second trial. Oh no, the police officer didn't shoot a baby, did he? Okay, let's get a little light in here. Is he dating a firewoman or fireman? You never know. Although, there's a, there's a pram, so it could be a woman. Fire lady. Is there a fire going? Wait. That's not what he said, right? That's better. All right, I need to get some work done. Now I need to check my email. Definitely need to get my bills paid, too. Good thing Joseph's asleep. That'll make things easier. Where's Joseph's mom, if... I have just left him to go to work and left him in the house. Oh, is that a PlayStation? An Xbox. 
Nice. With no Xbox. Uh, where is it? Ooh, can I play this? <laughs> nope. Me and Anna used to play all the time. God, I haven't touched this thing in ages. She was always better at it anyways. Uh, our keys. Stick your hand, hand in the blender, or cook something, or... I don't really need anything in the basement right now. You said you need a PC, but there's no PC here. There's no laptop. I can't see anything. How are you going to do any of that? You're going to be upstairs? And about, that's, this is a weirdly shaped house. Upstairs is wider than downstairs. Just an old closet. I don't need anything in there at the moment. The bathroom. Go pee. Shower. Oh. That didn't exactly go right. Where is this laptop? I remember that very day. If only I could go back. Just for a little while. I can interact with all these, right? There it is. I need to be quiet. Joey's sleeping. I thought something like the, the his wife would be on the bed, not completely abandon the child. What's that? Look. Oh, this and it's an album. No, I can't play that. I'll wait the kid. Can't do that. I'll also wait the kid. Just damn it. Emails. Another pay cut. I might need to take a second job. Don't know about a second job. A lot of police work is very demanding. I was wise. Signal. This was definitely Anna's record. She loved this band. I personally think they're garbage. Hmm. <laughs> Never understood it. This is home. Yep, he's right. Trash. Absolute trash. Someone's singing. Not music, is it? Playing a guitar, singing your heart out, love songs. I wish Anna could sing. Totally not music. Jesus, I can't believe it's been a year. What an ugly pig. I'll do whatever I can to keep you safe. What a disturbing looking penguin. The penguin's high. Just look at him. I do it all for you, buddy. <laughs> you look just like your mother. So where is his mother? Is she in the closet? You're going to come out the closet? See how this thing all starts? Can I just go to bed? Let's see. Nope. Should have been listening. Okay. <laughs> Man, I haven't played in a while. I remember I wrote this song me and Anna used to sing to Joseph before he was born. Oh, so he plays the sort of stuff that she's into, but he thinks it's garbage. But thinks his own's great. That's... Typical. 
What do I do? So go wash the baby bottles. Just look at him. I do it all yep. for you, buddy. Yep, yep. All this again. <laughs> you look just like your mother. Just look at him. Okay. I do it all for you, buddy. Just repeating yourself now. You look just like your mother. Where is your mother? Do I do I need to go in the shower now? This is what I do. No, I can't open the shower or anything. Can I go wee? Can I go wash? No. Do I go in the closet? Just no closet. I don't need anything in there at the moment. Do I sit and watch TV? Do I eat? Do I sleep? What do I do? Mm, I'm not really hungry right now. Plus, I have things to do. Like what? The place is spotless. You don't have to tidy up. The kids are asleep. You don't have to feed the baby. Maybe look for your wife, for starters. Double check that you can't get a shower. No. Nope. You're a dirty boy. Uh, try the laptop again. Nope. Nowhere to be seen. Can't change. Nope. Bed. God, I remember when I first joined the force. It was a long time ago. Is there anything in the baby room that he needs? To put the teddy bears away. No? No? Lights are in the house, maybe. Waste electricity. Come on. Oh. Come on. That's bright. Ow. Play some games? No? Gamer? No? No? Um, drink? Be depressed? Just do something! Ah, <sighs> damn it. Paper. Looks like they're cutting funding from the police force again. I can barely even pay for my medication. Oh. I see what might happen here. He might... He might run out of medication and go on a weird rampage or something. How is this guy not even noticed that his wife's not here? Mm. I'm, the fridge. I'm really hungry right now. Plus, I have things to do. I'm gonna wash, wash the pots in the sink. Read this. How the hell am I supposed to keep this up? Especially with all these budget cuts. I may need to start prioritizing what to pay for. Yep. Yep. Life. Shit. Joey's awake. There's gotta be something I can do to settle him down. Boys. Hug him. Feed him. Take him down the stairs. I mean, you're clearly in hell at the minute. Reliving your past mistakes or something. Maybe that's what you did. Oh, I need to do something to get him back to sleep. Oh, you poor kid. Hey, bear. Uh, go get some milk. A pillow. Uh, hey, bear. No. Uh, play some guitar for him. Mm. 
Uh, wine, not a loo. Right now. The wine will do. Things to do. Uh, uh, no food for the baby? What kind of dad are you? I don't really need anything in the basement right now. Hold up. Settle kids, you either pick them up, cuddle them, or rock them to sleep. Feed them because they're hungry. I'll play with them with toys. I'll give them a teddy bear. Why isn't he trying any of those? Could it be music? That's another thing you could try. Maybe if we go put the music on? Well, music see this soul. No, but it'll drown out the sound of his crying. Read a book. Read a book. Read a book. Good your shit, Dad. Oh, singing. Okay, fair enough. No, he's, he's not that bad of a dad now. I'm just a really crap gamer. This is a long shot, but... Can't be a long shot if, you, if you've literally written a song so it helps him sleep. Do this as well as your mom, but... Oh, it's his mom that did it. Okay, fair enough. I mean, can't fault go for trying. Daddy got some skills. The night's dark, but we're never far apart. Cause in your heart, when I'm gone, I'll still be here all the same. Pretty cool song. Pretty sweet. Seem to do it. Love you, buddy. Right now, sneak out. Right, there's a toy there. We go this way. And gently close the door. He said gently. I know what do I do? <sighs> Shit, not now. Oh no, the pills are going to take me pills. to go murder the baby. Where? Already at the bathroom. Damn it. It's getting worse. Oh, shit. I'm running low on pills. Pretty intense. Why do they have to be so expensive. Okay, okay. I need to take it easy. Oh, maybe I'll just head downstairs and see what's on TV. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. You nearly lost it there, buddy. I wonder if it runs out of pills and then it's got, it starts maybe skimming some off the top of drug busts and stuff. Again? Wait for the game to respond. A good father. Well, he tried, at least. Pinnacle you know mother's fault. Things aren't actually looking too bad for you, you so the song. far. I'm almost tempted to say you might not end up scoring too low. Almost. I handle all the bad people, remember? So, what have we learned? 
a police officer, a single father. What happened to, uh, what's her name? Anna? I wonder. Well, it's not really in my jurisdiction to know about that. We're here to focus on you, my friend, and as much as I hate to say it, there hasn't really been anything I could justify docking your points for yet. Plus, you do really seem to care about that kid. I think I need to learn a little bit more about you, who you really are, where your mind's at. Step into the next room. I, I want to test something. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, I guess I'll go click one of these. Journey Bentham or Emmanuel Kant. Kent. Kant? No idea. You see, I don't think I know enough about you yet. I want to learn who you are, get inside of your head. So here's your job. There are two philosophers who have interesting theories about morality and ethics. They're the two guys you're looking at now, Emmanuel Kant and Jeremy Bentham. They each came up with their own idea of what a good action is. Kant proposed the idea of deontological ethics. By his model, all actions are inherently good or bad, regardless of their consequences. Now let's use the trolley dilemma as an example. A trolley is going to run over five people who are tied to the tracks. If you change the direction of the trolley, it would only hit one person. Kant would argue that you don't change the trolley's direction. Sure, five people will die, but you didn't have any direct input on it. If you change the trolley's direction, that one death was caused by you. You committed an immoral action regardless of the outcome. Jeremy Bentham, on the other hand, would disagree. Bentham proposed the idea of utilitarianism. By his ideology, the right or moral decision is the one that results in the most good. The outcome is more important than the action itself. He would say that you steer the trolley to hit the one man. Sure, you were directly involved in his death, but more people survive than would have otherwise. All you need to do is tell me who you agree with. Kant's deontological method or Bentham's method of utilitarianism. Where do your morals lie? Personally, I'm just curious who tied everyone to the tracks. There are much more efficient ways to kill people if that was your goal. Anyways, push the button not in wrong. front of the portrait of who you agree with most. After that, head out into the hallway. Your next trial will be waiting for you. So, Bentham was the utilita utilitarian guy, which I agree with both. If you do nothing, though, it is the same as doing something. You're choosing to do nothing in that situation. So, what what do you guys think? Killing five people or killing one person? Which would you rather do in that situation with the trolley? I'm not saying would you kill five people or would you kill one person? I'm saying if a trolley was going to hit five people or hit one person, would you switch the tracks to five or one? I would probably turn it to one. Although I would feel bad. Some people would do nothing because they're too worried about turning it to one. Because at the same time, you know, it, it they'll feel bad about killing someone. But at the same time, doing nothing is just as bad as doing something. So you're essentially still killing the five people regardless. It's it's a very twisty windy road. Was it was it Bentham? Was it this one? I think it was. I think. Did you say oh, that I need to leave and go into this room? Trial complete. Um, I was expecting some sort of prompt. In the office. All right. Get a soda. Get some work done. I should check and see if I have any reports to take care of today. You're a police officer. It's donuts. Donuts and soda. That's your job. Let's interact with these people. Please, please tell me no. I've not got time. Just say I don't want to. It's a good, interesting game. But at the same time, I don't want everybody's life story. This is about this guy's life story and moral dilemmas. Is that my office? 
No, that's the commissioner's office. Captain Stark typically likes to keep to herself. Let's not bother her. Okay, this way, this way, this way, round, round. Is that my off? No, that's the ladies' bathroom. Is that my office? This has got to be my office. Wait, sign there. Out of order. Someone's done a massive poo poo. So I'm guessing one of these tables are mine. Matthew, this one. That was a good guess. A good educated guess. Hmm. It doesn't look like I'm assigned to anything at the moment. I should go down to evidence and check on that forest case. Go down. I don't know what floor I'm on. So I'll just go this way. Elevator. I like how they just put a down button. Going down. Wing offices. I need evidence locker. Because we're gonna hey, nab what are you doing here? four hundred dollars. Oh, hi, Matt. I was just checking back on what we found on the forest case. You know you're not supposed to be here, right? Plus, how do you get in without a key? Oh, I'm sorry. I just told security I was working with you, and they let me in. There wasn't a ton of fuss about it. Wow. Yeah, security has fallen behind a bit. It's these damn paycheck cuts. All behind. It's okay. You can hang out in here if you want. I was actually here for the same reason. Oh, well, I laid out the photos back in the corner. I assume that's your desk? Oh, yeah. Thanks. I'll check it out. And, hey, don't mess with anything else in here, okay? If money goes missing, it's your fault, not mine. I didn't take the $400. Yeah, I still think my theory stands. Gunman was the one dead in the cave. He died from a stab wound inflicted by our initial victim. All well, just a drug deal gone bad. Ugh, I still feel awful for them. Don't. They got themselves in that position. I... I guess. Good. You can't let that stuff get to you. Burn it all. I'm gonna Burn head upstairs. Evidence. You should probably get out of here before somebody says something. Okay, yeah. I'll be out in just a bit. That's a question of morality. If you burn all the evidence, surely someone here is actually innocent and is something's incriminating. So you'll save someone, but at the same time you'll let you'll let a bunch free, or do you just leave it to the system that could possibly lock them up forever and ruin their entire life? Morality. Okay. Bye. Oh. Huh? Oh shit, not now. He wasn't supposed to call me yet. I need to take this somewhere private. Elevator somewhat private. Go, go, go! Bathroom, bathroom, bathroom! Go, go, go! Before the phone stops. Go! Go, go, go! Go, 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 go! Charlie, I told you not to call me at work. I gave you my schedule. Oh, and you think you have the authority to tell me when to call? I don't give a shit where you are. If I call you, you pick up the goddamn phone! What do you need? See? That's more like it. What I need is what we discussed. You still need the money, right? Yeah, I just... I don't like it. Well, tough shit! Think about it like this. After a few jobs, we cut our ties, and you leave with just enough cash to make all your problems just go away. Listen here. I know all about the government job pay cuts, and I know without this money, you'll... Where is it? William and Son's Bar. My boys will have been in and out. Be in the case. And hey, remember... 
You're doing this for the kid. <sighs> William and Sons. Okay. I need to get back to work. This never happened. Hmm. That is an interesting point of morality. Doing bad for something good. I think to some degree, anyone at some point would literally kill for their child. That's sort of built in. I won't call that moral. <laughs> I'll call that nature. And survival. See, now this is what I was expecting. You're a bit sketchier than you let on. This'll be entertaining. Taking suspicious jobs, working for the seedy underbelly of your society. You're just a basic crooked cop. <laughs> you know, I hate to say it, but... I, I was, was going to say, you're just a basic you. bitch. I thought you may be the one good person I had. Oh well. Also, Bentham was an interesting choice. I mean, that's what most people would say, but in practice... Anyways, you've got more trials, and I've got more life to judge. Let's get a move on. Yeah, I feel like most people would have chosen the Bentham one. Whoa. The frames. I think most people would have chosen the Bentham one, purely because in a lot of TV shows and movies, the cho that choice is usually there. Either, like, pick, well, in the horror games and stuff like that as well, you, you've got either so-and-so dies or so-and-so lives, or they both die or they both live, etc. I think there's a similar thing in, um, in, like, the, oh, what they're called now, like, the Dark series Tales things, where, like, the quarry and until dawn and stuff, where you've got to make decisions based on the situations at hand. You can either let someone die or try and save them and end up dying yourself and stuff like that. I think a lot of people will probably choose a Bentham one where it's 5 or 1. Buy you life over the choice. Alright, number 4. He's going to the bar. So, what's the damage? Armed robbery. According to the statement from the bartender, three men in masks came in and ransacked the place. Took everything they could. Cash oh, the pistol said liver. Emptied. So was the safe. Do you have anything to go off of? What's the damage? Well, the barman said he shot one of the men in the leg, but no one was killed. They all got away. That's not much. Hey, did you bring that UV light with you? Oh, yeah, I got it right here. Good thinking. Hey, I, I was thinking... Maybe I could help you. No, no, you better just stay back. I can get all this sorted out. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll just, uh, be right here. You're also basically all making right. her an accomplice. Let's get this over with. Fingerprints. I need something to clean these up with. Fingerprints. I'll need something to clean these up with. You would have thought that everywhere would have had some sort of fingerprint. Blair. This must be where the guy got shot. Shit, I'm gonna need to get this cleaned up. Uh, okay, so e everything about what he's doing is very sketch. You do need to get more money so that these guys can pull off jobs and things and, Damn it. and get extra cash. Why did the bar owner lock up? I need to get this door unlocked. He knew we were coming. He had to have left a key around here somewhere. It'll be behind the bar. And how do I get behind the bar? The gun is the key. Hmm. This could be useful. She totally saw nothing. Looks like your guys dropped something, Charlie. 
You really need to get some better goons. God, could these guys have at least made an attempt to be clean? Jesus. If you're gonna do something like at least plan stuff in advance. Or the dish water on it as well, like you. Ooh. That went strange. All right, do do it properly. Ah, I'm a little confused. There's no doors to actually get into the. Is there anything I could use to work that up? There's nothing there. Nothing here. The gun, so we could take out Evelyn. Oh, there's a key. Oh, we just put it on the middle of a table just for no reason. To close the safe. Wow. They really did not try. Just leave the uh, note in here in a drawer. Incriminate him instead. The frames! Alcohol. Take the alcohol. Steal the alcohol. Ugh, Charlie, next time have your guys wear gloves or something. Okay. Charlie is terrible. Shit. Can you imagine trying to clean up a crime scene and then you have one of these attack things and then you end up in hospital? How, how are you going to explain that to the guy that's going to kill everyone? On one of these desks. And there's one over this way. Sprint. She's not going to see any of it. Ugh, I'm going to need more than just a towel for this. I think there's a mop in here somewhere. Is there a mop around here? No? Why did I think to look for a mop until just now? Um. Is there one in here somewhere? There's something in here that I can use. The lag. Okay, I'm, um, uh, I, I think stuff's been sorted out. I think I fixed it. Like, uh, yeah, where, where, where are we? Uh, looking at the toilet. Uh, some stuff to clean the blood up, I think. Uh, let's try this door now. Oh, no, we can't. Nope. Surely there's a bucket of mops somewhere in this place. Hey, how are you doing? Okay. I still think I could help out if you no, need... No, it's all right. I think I'd better just handle this one. All right. Well, I'll let you get back to it. Handgun. PM40 model. This must have been the bartenders. I don't think I need to bother with it. Uh, 
I'm just gonna turn that off. I like the ambient noise of the uh, UV. I'm cleaning this up. Oh, I'm gonna need more than just a towel for this. Towels? Multiple? Um, I need a mop or something, right? But I can't find where something like could be. There's water right there. Can I not use some water? Beer? One of these spirits. Alcohol. Booze. No. No. Nothing. Uh, um, 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 um. Bottle of wine. Or a bottle of wine over it. Yeah, I can use that. Oh, now I can pick that up. Okay. All right. She totally can't see me, guys. Talk to Evelyn. Evelyn, why'd you clean all that up? Oh, the place is a mess. Oh, I need to take my meds now. Oh, shit. I've just realized what I've done. <laughs> Be a great excuse, wouldn't it? Did you find anything worthwhile? Uh, no, actually. What? How is that even possible? Uh, I don't know. I just... I couldn't find anything. That... That can't be right. Let me take a look. No, it's fine. I looked everywhere I could, and there was nothing. Okay. Yeah. She's suspicious. Get back to the cruiser. Grab the gun. Be home before I head back to the precinct. Yeah. Okay. Hello, where we go? Okay, no one's here. Good. So what, am I getting rid of the file now? Close it behind me. Is there a specific file I need? I do it at the station. That's awfully close to that box. I know I joked earlier about burning down the evidence room. What do you mean literally? If you do something like that, you would do it away from work. And that, my friend, is why you're in here with me. Cleaning up evidence from a crime scene, I expected more from you. I mean, not really, but still. All for what? Some money? That's a little thing I like to call greed, and it does not look good on you. You know, I think there's a little more I'd like to learn about you. Head into the hmm. next room. I want to test something. It wasn't great, though. He was doing it to keep a roof over his head for his kid. But I guess that is sort of greed and selfishness in its own way. Oh, a gavel and a bird. Not held accountable. Held accountable. Let me start with an example. Say you're in a room with a button, and you know that something will happen when you press that button. You don't know exactly what, but something will happen. It could be something terrific, something that could save lives. It could also be catastrophic, killing orphans and puppies <laughs> the whole nine yards. But... You have absolutely no way of knowing. What you do know is that you have agency over whether or not you press that button. Pressing it is entirely your choice. 
With that said, if you did press the button, should you be held accountable for the consequences of these actions, even if you didn't know what they would be? Should someone be held accountable for something in which they have agency, but no knowledge on the possible outcome? Answer by pressing the button of which you agree most strongly with. Once you finish, exit back out into the hallway. Your next trial is waiting. Ooh, that's a tough one. Because if you... It's like throwing a ball over a ledge. You know it could hit someone in the head and really cause some damage. But you can't see what's over the edge. So it might miss. But you throw the ball anyway. And if you hit someone, is it your fault? Well, yes, you threw the ball. And I think that's the case with this, with the button, with this button scenario as well, because you didn't have to press the button. You thought of the possible things that could go wrong, or the possible things that could go right. But pressing it and having it go wrong was your choice. Well, not not particularly your choice, but pressing that button was your choice. It's a matter of think before you act. So I would possibly say yes. Like shooting a gun into the air and then later having it come down and hit someone in the head, which has happened in history quite a few times. It happens in America quite a lot, I believe. But then you've got to think. If you weren't told that pressing that button could have catastrophic effects... All good effects. And you're just told, oh. If you want, you can press that button. Then should you be held accountable? Because you don't, you don't know what the button will do. Although you could question it. So really, it's a matter of what do you do before you press the button. It's not about pressing the button. It's about whether or not you choose to press the button you choose then that's your fault action has a reaction that's the universal law of physics so yeah i think i think held accountable is the right thing you could also say that actions don't necessarily just for the means okay turn the lights on i think Breaking at the bar. I'll never be able to forgive myself for this. It'll be worth it, though. As long as I can afford medicine and keep him fed. I'm not leaving you anytime soon, buddy. Oh, and look here. Says that Evelyn has finally officially joined the force. Good for her. Hmm. Wait, what's that? What is this? Random jar of stuff. Hey, little buddy. I know, I know. Let me get you something to eat. Oh, darn it. Where'd I put the baby food? In one of the hundreds of cupboards that you have available. No, I already got it out of there. I set it down somewhere. Oh, that must have been what that was. But if he's just got back, how could he have just set it down somewhere? Let's get this to Joseph. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Eat up. There you go. Are you getting tired? Come on. Let's put you down for a nap. I'm never going to let anything happen to you, buddy. You're going to be okay. I'm going to make sure I'm okay. So I can take care of you. We'll get that money. Don't you worry. Kind of sweet. I think that's another thing with laws and stuff. They're made 
for like they're not made for stuff that people do do the bad things to do good. They're, it's all about you know you did it in the first place. Sleep tight, buddy. Okay, I need to get some work done. I'll check on the mail, maybe my email too. Water has been acting up a bit too. Maybe I could check that out in the basement. Now we get to go in the basement. Maybe his wife's in the basement. Or his wife's past. If so, why is he leaving a baby in the house all alone? Maybe he's in hell purely because he left his child all alone. That would make a lot of sense. You just don't do that. This will help with the water tank. Okay. There. That should fix things. Not a single bolt in sight. <laughs> well. At least he fixed it somehow. The main thing. And then the headaches start. Uh, what was good? What he was gonna do? Water. Damn it! I should have been listening. Should have been listening. I'm just gonna have to explore and figure out what it was. Uh, shower, food. I think he needed some food himself, didn't he? No, I already got it out of there. I set it down somewhere. All right, that's been and gone, dude. You're going senile. Just an old closet. I don't need anything in there at the moment. A trash hour. Oh, check emails. Check emails. That was one of them, right? Check the mail. Wait, they're going to start laying off officers? I, I can't lose this job. Okay, that's that sucks. Okay, after going back and checking, mail. I never would have guessed mail. I had the, where would the mail be? Around this area, right? On the table. Is that the mail? God, letters and things just are never in the right place. Or Bills. I, I can't pay for all of these. I'm going to need to prioritize. Well, they're going to lose a life in the home. It's understandable that someone go, would go through all this just to... <sighs> Hello? Jesus. At least pretend to be happy to hear from me. What do you need me to do? Any fun, are you? Charlie, just tell me what the hell you need me to do. Hey, 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 relax. Basement safer. Keep cool. I got another job for you. And then I get my money? And then you'll get your money. <sighs> What's the job? You know the laundromat on 8th? Yeah, what about it? No, don't tell That's me. That's my laundromat. And I have a bit of evidence there. You're fronting using a laundromat? How cliche can Hey! You... I didn't ask for you to tell me how to run my goddamn business. I... I'm sorry. What do you need? You'd probably get away with it easier if you did. We're moving our operations elsewhere. Go to the laundromat tomorrow night and clean up the, uh, <clears throat> back room. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll take care of it. I'll give you more info later. One last job, then I get the money. Finish this, and you'll have enough to take care of everything you need. Good. I'll be there. This guy's probably taking advantage. Like, obviously... He's doing it for his kid. And this guy knows it. We might never even get the money. You, uh... You really cared about that boy, huh? I mean, not to discredit this whole process, I'm sure you're still a terrible person, just... You seem like a good dad, is all. I don't know, it's odd. I typically only see the bad when I'm judging people. I don't understand why I'm seeing all this. But again... 
you're still a terrible person. <laughs> you really are more black and white than you think. Anyway, what's the deal with you and this Charlie guy? He seems a bit sketchy. Is he why you're here? Did you cross him? Just one wrong move and then... <laughs> no, no, that'd be too easy. Oh, uh, whatever. Head on outside. Your next trial is waiting. Maybe he died of old age. Or maybe he just got hit by a bus. Just got really unlucky one day. Right, number six. The laundromat. Now, what did Charlie say? The back rooms! Yeah, four quarters in the out of order machine. Turn the coin slot crank three times. Huh, a quarter. Well, one down, three more to go. Scan the room for quarters. On there. Any of these chairs? On there! Four quarters or three quarters? Uh, it's three, right? I don't see a fourth anywhere. Okay, just... Oh, shit, I forgot the damn quarters. How did I even... Oh, it's fine. I just need to figure this out. Four quarters, yeah. That's... That's it, four quarters. Uh, we don't have four quarters anyway. The bag? What's this duffel bag doing here? Hmm. Empty. I'm probably going to need that duffel bag later. Poop on the floor. Never thought of that. People may have dropped a quarter. I don't see any. There are no quarters to be found. No, I need to find some more quarters before I can get this open. Are any of these open? Oh, maybe if I go through this door. That should just about do it. How convenient. Now, let's put these to use. So, just four of these, and there it goes. But this was supposed to be a horror game anyway. Not very horrified. It's so dark in here. And cold. Okay. Let's check this out. It's supposed to be like a... It said horror. But I know there's like a morality question in game. So there's probably like tiny bits of horror to it. But not, really seem to emphasize not proper horror. Laptops hard drive erased. Maybe I should start there. Yeah, this is definitely something that needs cleaning up. It's too big, though. Needs something to carry it in. Hold it. Yeah, this is definitely something that needs cleaning up. It's too big, though. Needs something to carry it in. Yeah, this will need to go. I guess they were using these cameras as a lookout. It's best to have that footage wow. wiped. Yeah, this is definitely something that needs cleaning up. It's too big, though. Oh, taking it away? to carry it in. Well, I guess this is how they kept this room warm. It's freezing down here. Brought my own towel this time. <laughs> Live and learn. Yeah, this is definitely something that needs cleaning up. It's too big, though. Needs something to carry it in. Uh. Good thing Charlie gave me the code to do this. Can't imagine he gives that out too freely. I think I need a bigger, bigger bag. Let's see what. Oh damn it! 
Charlie didn't give me the password. I'll get the rest of this sorted out and then I'll call Charlie about it. Run around, look for all the handprints and stuff, and be done with it. They'll probably fight. Oh. Was there a person? No, it was a tree. Shit. That was my last. I just need to stay upright until I can get some more. Mm. Wow. This should help me carry everything down there. It should be good for a few hours until he loses his shit again. Looks like a few of these guys weren't having a great game. Best I clean all of this up. Jesus, what were you planning to do with these, Charlie? God, Charlie's got a small fortune down here. Small oh, fortune's right. Well, I guess this explains where a lot of this money is coming from. How many people is he dealing to? This must have been Charlie's private stash. No surprise. Biggest chunk of money and the biggest guns. Okay, I need to get that laptop password. Hmm. Hello? What is it? Did you mess something up? No, just... I need the password for your laptop. Oh, yeah, right. My bad. It's, uh... It's Beverly217. Beverly? Yeah, what about it? Got a problem with no problem. I'll get back to it, but after this, I want my money. And you'll get it. Do this for me, and you're out. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Looking around. Matthew. <laughs> Evelyn, what are you doing here? Oh. I know what you've been doing. What are you talking about? Listen, I may be new to the Force, but I'm not stupid. You've been taking evidence from the scenes. I saw you driving here, and I followed no, you. No, Evelyn, please. You don't understand. Is it just for the money? Matt, I understand the pay cuts are bad, but... But this? I looked up to you. Uh, I'm sorry, Ev... Don't try to apologize. You know I have to report this. I know, but please... I need this. Listen, Matthew, I have too much respect for you. We haven't known each other long, but I understand that you've been serving for decades, and you've been highly regarded. I'm going to have to ask you to turn yourself in. What? What authority do you have Leave to... with your dignity intact and turn yourself in. You... You need to own up Please, to... Please, Ev. I need this job. I'm not going to ask you again. Oh. Okay. Well, shoot. Hello? Hey, it's Charlie. I know who it is. Where can I get my money? That's what I was calling you about. Uh, Matt, I can't pay you. What? Charlie, what do you mean you can't pay me? I said you needed to finish the job. My laptop is still sitting there with all of my information on it. That doesn't sound like a done job to me. Charlie, you son of a bitch. Plus, money is tight. I need... What do you mean money's tight? If I recall, I just cleaned hundreds and thousands of dollars out of your basement. I have a life. I need this. I'm going to lose everything over this. And whose fault is that? You're the asshole that decided to work for me. I appreciate the help. So as a courtesy payment, let's just cut ties clean. You've got too much dirt on yourself to report me, and I won't send anyone to kill you. We'll call it even. Please. This conversation is over. Well, we all knew that was going that way.
Oh, in the act. You know, I'm having a lot of trouble understanding you. What you're doing is awful, but you seem to have remorse. I mean, your intentions are good, but God, I, I just... What you're doing is inherently bad. You are committing crimes, you are helping criminals, but... No, no. You know what? I deal with the bad people. And if I deal with the bad people, then you're a bad person. What was it you said before? I don't have much remorse. If you've done something bad, then you deserve the punishment. <laughs> well, good. Glad that's all sorted out. <laughs> Before you go into your next trial, I wanted to Can't come argue with the own woods one last time, if you'll indulge me. <laughs> I say that like you have a choice. Okay, into the next room you go. Chop, chop. Wow. Selfless selfish. Okay, let's see I don't what this one is. It's any secret that people act on instinct, at least partially. What's a bit more divisive is what those instincts are exactly. Some would argue that, by nature, the human race cares about survival and protecting what's close to them. They want to ensure that their lives are protected and lived to the fullest. In short, they believe that people are inherently selfish. On the other hand, some people believe that people will naturally disregard their own wants and desires for the betterment of a larger community. People would rather benefit the world as a whole rather than benefit themselves. In short, not selfish. So what do you think? Are people inherently selfish by nature or no? Once you answer, head back through the door to your next trial. Oof. This is a tough one because there, to me, in my opinion, there is absolutely no such thing as a selfless act. Everything you do is selfish, no matter what choice you make. Your brain goes, I want this. I want this. Because if you want people not to be hungry, that's a selfish act because you feel bad for them. Empathy or apathy or sympathy. One of those. One of those emotions that get complicated. Uh, so to me... That is a selfish act, no matter how you look at it. But that is that is like a a selfless, selfish act. So no matter what you do, it's selfish. But I think in that way we're also wired that way to think and feel bad for others. So I think I'm going to go for the selfless. Because a lot of times the stuff we do is for other other people and other reasons. Like we feel bad, or we want something, someone, somewhere to have the best life possible. And I think a good example is vegans. They feel bad for the animals, but they also torture the rest of us. Uh, and they just stop all protesters. They they want oil to start just because you know it, it, it's damaging the environment after in. Certain ways, not always, because everything is made out of oil in some way, shape, or form. Plastics. Now, clothes, also made of oil. Even your butter is made of oil. The stuff you put on your face has oil in it. You cannot get away from using oil. It's there. Everything has oil. But the point is, they're trying to stop all, like all the bad type of stuff happening. But they're also doing it in a very stupid way. Where they're chucking probably oil-based paint onto stuff like the Mona Lisa. And Stonehenge, that one really pissed me off because it had no business in any of that. Because it had nothing to do with oil. Not in the Mona Lisa, even though it is an oil painting. But that's different. That didn't harm the environment to make. It crushed up a few flowers and turned it into a painting. Right? No big deal. No harm done to any of the environment. But that... That's them being... Attempting to be selfless. selfless, But they're also being extremely selfish in the way they're doing it. So that's the opposite way around to something like a vegan. So, I think what I'm saying is veganism is just as bad as... Digital, just a poor protesters. So there. Done. Glad we got that sorted. 
So selfish and selfless acts are sort of the same thing. It just it's a matter of perspective. So this is Charlie's place. Why is it so small? I know I cleaned at least 100k from the laundromat. Where's all of that money going? Hmm. Whatever. I need to get what I came here for. It's quaint. Stay quiet, though. Oh. Oh. This turned into horror game quick. <laughs> He's asleep. This has to be where he keeps the money. I need to find a way to break into it. It's locked up tight. I need something to open it with. <laughs> no, don't do that. Walk nice and slow. Oh, Charlie. Uh, Envelope some extra money for Beverly. Oh. Uh, so this guy's also doing something really bad for his kids as well. So if I steal this money, it's a case of you then taking the money away from his kids. That's pretty messed up in a way. But it then boils down to the survival of the fittest. Oh, I've got to go into his room, Manta. Charlie's asleep in there. I need to be quiet. Charlie's asleep in there. I need to be quiet. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Uh... Where, is there any numbers in this? No. No, it's not that. Uh, oh, talk about being quiet. He's just tripped up over stuff. So. Right. There is something in these paintings. Some. Wait. Well, wait. Could I? Interesting tastes. Surely there's something somewhere that will tell me. There's a clock. There's that. I go into these. I go into that. There's a toaster. I thought that was some sort of alarm. Maybe it's the kid's birthday. Hmm. It's locked up tight. I need something to open it with. I'm looking. I'm gonna go and shoot the damn thing. Charlie's asleep in there. I need to be quiet. I need to be quick because it looks like he's also got an alarm on. Gotta get up soon. He's got more places to rob and kill. How has this guy got absolutely nothing? I could use this to jam a wedge into the safe. I just need something to use as a wedge. This is not going to go well. There. I should be able to open the safe with these. You know, if you're going to bother trying, you know, someone's birthday. Surely there's another way for this. Okay, quiet now. And there. God, this is more than enough. I can get my medicine and 
I'm not leaving you just yet, Joey. All right. Let's get out of here. Oh, this is where things are going to turn. Wait. Hold on. Oh, shit. I'm so stupid. He's going to trace this back to me. He knows where I live and shit. He knows about Joseph. What am I doing? I shouldn't have done this. I can't go back. The safe is already broken and my prints are all over it. Okay, okay. Calm down. You can handle this. I can't let him follow me. I know what I have to do. Can you not find his gun? I can do this. I have to do this. For Joseph. For a police officer, it could probably just put the pillow there and shot him first, so there's less sound. I could use the shotgun. I just don't get it. I don't understand you, because you're everything I've ever gone against, and everything points to you being an awful person, but I don't know. I mean, for God's sakes, you just killed that guy. You killed him, but you were protecting your son. Or... Were you just protecting yourself? Yeah, that's a question. How much of what you're doing is wanting to be sure you stay alive for your son, and how much is you just not wanting to die? Is he just some justification for you, or do you actually care? I mean, given that you're here talking to me, obviously things didn't work out too well, did they? You've been tampering with crime scenes, you completely betrayed the trust of someone who looked up to you. I don't understand you. The thing is, I have no idea what your motives are. Well, I know what you think your motives are, but that doesn't mean anything. Maybe I've been doing this wrong all along. Not just with you, but... I never cared about motive. I never cared about the other people in everyone's life. Bad people were bad people. Now you've come along to mess everything up! Let me ask you something. Do you think this is real? No, really. Do you think I'm real? Why don't you just make me say what you want already? I just... I don't know. You have one more trial. I suggest you get a move on. Hmm. Okay. Let's probably see how he dies. I need to get everything ready. Food, water, keys. My backpack should be upstairs. Food, water, keys. Right. Food, bridge, water. Oh, keys are there. I'll take the cruiser. No one would suspect an officer. Plus, I can blend in if they find me. Water? I have to go into the basement, aren't I? I'm definitely going to need these, but I'll need to grab my backpack first. Of course. Of course. It needs a backpack. It's not like you walked in with a backpack or a bag full of money, right? Where's his backpack? Upstairs in his bedroom. Oh, this is spooky. Okay, okay. I need to get the supplies. Oh, okay, that was creepy. That was open. A few days worth of water. Okay. 
day. Oh, the food's down there in the basement. I forgot. I've literally just been there and I forgot. Alright, the kind of food is here. Okay, good. This will be enough for a few weeks. For a few weeks. We've got water, okay. we've got food, keys. Everything. Gotta get Joey. I need to get Joey. That right there. Right, I'm trying to get a decent picture. That was like a decent picture. Uh, was it F12? Yeah, F12. There we go. I need to figure out where that's gone now. I never do that. Hmm. So, Joey's room. Come on. Hey, little guy. We have to go now, okay? We'll find somewhere else, though. We'll live happily for as long as we can. Hope you managed to get some food for the baby, though. You got a lot of tins for himself. Okay. It's time to go. Although I didn't see him pack it, it just vanished off the shelf. So maybe he did pack some food for the kid, or maybe the kid's on solids now. Maybe he's just going to mush it up on the way. Oh, interesting. How does he die? Okay. We can drive through the night. I'll find a motel somewhere tomorrow. But we can't stay long. We gotta stay on the move. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Did you have a good nap? <laughs> Everything is okay, little guy. We're going to find a new home. Hmm. No, no, no. Shit. Okay, okay. It's okay. Hold on, buddy. Why speed up? You're in a police cruiser yourself. No. Joseph, I need to get Joseph. Come on, buddy, let's get out of here. Go ahead, George, pull this way. Just keep walking this way. Ooh. Oh. What did you do? Please, I just, just want Matthew, put the gun down. Please. Stay me... down, Matthew. I just, let me take my put son. Put the gun down and surrender. I mean, I did put the gun down. Well, I did put the gun down. It went like this. And then it goes straight in the face. Uh, I'm sorry, Matthew. Really. This isn't how it should have ended for you. 
It's respectable that you took action, though. And, I mean... Hmm. The funny thing, though, I... I still don't know what to do with you. Maybe this is all more subjective than I thought. Did your actions matter? Did your motives? What were your motives? Honestly, why is anything bad in the first place? Who even decided that? I don't know. It doesn't make much sense. Maybe you're bad. Maybe you're not. I just... I don't know. You know what? I said I only had one more question, but this one's important. Step outside. I've got one more trial for you. Oh, and before I forget, the question I asked before, I think I'm as real as you want me to be. Okay. So I think he's got a point who who makes who decides what's good or bad. Is in reality humans themselves decide what's good or bad. Intelligent humans. Otherwise ev everything else is simply primitive. We kill things, we feel bad for things, we help things, we try to survive. Basically it. Survive, thrive, s kill what we need to. Basically it. Oh. I like that one. Look, I just can't decide what to do with you. Your actions are just uh, polarized. So I decided I'd let you make your decision. Now, I'm going too far away. Very carefully about how you answer this. Polarized, so I decided to make a decision. All I have to ask is, do you think you're a good person? Take your time to answer the question, then head back through the door. I think that he thinks he's a good person trying to do his best. Okay. I understand. Head back through the door. It's waiting for you. Oh god. What would have happened if I clicked no? You've made me think a lot, you know that? Hmm. Really, I'm, I'm honestly glad to have met you. And I know, it's scary. You have no way of knowing what's through that door, and honestly, neither do I. I know just as much as you do, and as much as we've gone through, I still don't know what you deserve. Maybe things are too subjective to ever really tell. All I know is that you're gonna go through a change in a few seconds, and no matter what it is, it'll be okay. Good or bad, you'll be okay. Good luck with whatever comes next. Goodbye, Matthew. It's Kings and Queens. That has been Summerland. Thank you so much for watching. Check out some of the other videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.